We challenge the view that aging is something we have to accept. We challenge the view that aging is untreatable. We challenge the view that aging is different from disease. But we're showing now that it's really easy to reverse it once you understand why it occurs. Lifespan's a very special book. It's uh, everything that I've learned over 30 years about why we age and even why we don't have to. And new research that shows that, that there are things that we can do today and things that we'll be able to do tomorrow to be able to stay five and even 10 years uh, healthier in our lives. It takes the reader on a journey. This isn't just a self-help book. It's a journey through human history, looking at where we've come, what we can do right now to live another five or 10 years, maybe even beyond that, and what's just around the corner. We see aging all around us. We see everything get old, but there's no law that says we have to get old. And so what we're learning is that there are genes in our bodies that protect us against aging. And we can do things in our daily life to turn them on. And there are also molecules that you can take now and in the future that will be radical in their ability to slow down and even reverse the aging process. Well, I think it's possible for some of us to make it there. Maybe not all of us, but those of us who read the book and see the kind of things that will allow them to be healthier for longer and stave off cancer and heart disease and even frailty, those people have a great chance of getting beyond 100, in my view. There's a lot of things that I think can be done. And of course, they're, they're all outlined in the book and why they work. But if there's one thing I can say from all the things that I've learned over the last 30 years, it would be eat less often. Be hungry a little bit during the day. Skip breakfast, perhaps, or skip lunch. And that period of hunger actually turns on the body's defenses against aging. And we think that's very powerful. The goal of my research is to, is to change the world. In, in essence, it's to allow people to be healthy until they're 90 and beyond, to start the new career they always wanted to. Uh, my father's 80, he just started a new career. He's running around the world, he just hiked mountains with his grandkids. It's that kind of a life that I want everybody on the planet to have access to.